Hello! In this tutorial, as I promised, we will uh, write a user interface, a graphical user interface for the Sudoku Solver program, uh, which, uh, you know, we uh, written earlier. Uh, if you don't see that tutorial, let's check it out, because we will use that source code. Okay, uh, I said that to save the source code, so, yeah. And actually, let's start it. Okay, we need to do a few things, like we have to copy the everything in the main to a new function mm, called solve. For example, this will be a callback function, which will be called whenever we click the solve, the Sudoku button, except the return null, that is uh, not needed to uh, copy. Okay, so, as I said, it will be a void solve. Okay, and actually it will be a callback function. So, we press the GTK widget, uh, widget, uh, not really matter because we will not use it, and the G pointer data. Okay, and just press, uh, just pass anything, everything here. Okay, and we need to make another global variable, although I said that the global variables are not too good, uh, but we will not use it. If you want, you can make a class or a namespace, so there is no global variable. Or you can use the static keyword to make this global variable to just this file. Okay, I, uh, this will be a GTK widget array, actually a GTK widget pointer array. So GTK widget pointer array called widget. Okay, and similarly to A, it contains nine uh, times nine element. So every every integer there is a, a widget. Okay, I plan that we can use uh, entries to get uh, something. So we use the eighty one entry field, which is I tested a little. Uh, 20 by 20 is a good size. Okay, and we... Uh, okay, uh, let's start it. Here in the main, we actually uh, start this. Okay, uh, the first thing we need to do is actually not really GTK, we have to set everything uh, to null in A. Uh, that's because uh, in the normal case we would just read it's from the user, uh, from the file, right? So, yeah, we, uh, we will not read it uh, just if the user asks it. Okay, so, <coughs> uh, use the two for loop as we usually do with matrices. Okay, this should be pretty familiar to you. Just a i j equals zero, and not a j j as I've written one of my biggest fail. Okay, uh, the next thing is actually to initialize uh, initialize the graphics. Okay, to do that we use the GTK init function, and it requires these. Uh, Common line arguments, which is not written in here, some reason. So int rgc is and char uh, rgv. Okay. By the way, you should uh, know that this is work as well. So char two pointer or uh, pointer of array. Okay. And uh, we initialize it with the. Yeah, we initialize it with the pointer of these command line arguments. Okay, that's right. And uh, let's see. And we have to create a bunch of variables. So we need a menu here. We need uh, a lot of entries and we need a lot of things. So let's get started. We need a vertical box. This will be contain everything vertically, like the button, the source button, and 
and the menus and all of the entries okay we need a horizontal box as well the horizontal box will only contain uh, the entries it will be uh, deleted every cycle no nah, oh never mind you will see okay uh, next thing we need a separator okay i am not talked about separators because they are so easy so this will be a tutorial for separators as well we need the solve button so actually call it button okay and then we need a lot of file thing uh, so not file thing the uh, menu thing okay like file menu file menu and uh, that's all <laughs> we don't really make another menu because uh, you know there is nothing uh, which we, we can we could uh, put in there okay and uh, we need a menu bar obviously so menu menu bar okay and uh, menu item we don't need menu item we de declare it later uh, in local scope okay and actually start to initialize this uh, lot of variable oh by the way we need another variable the window okay but uh, as I said I test this it a little and we have to make the window to a global variable because uh, we have to access it to more places uh, yeah maybe not mm, I don't know make it as it should work but later we can uh, see that it's maybe work in local okay the next thing is to initialize a lot of variables for example the window this will be gtk window new you know just create a new window and gtk window top level this will be a top level window we always use top level windows when we create window like that uh, and the widget should automatically create a not top level window okay initialize the vertical box okay that's it uh, so we don't want spacing or yeah and uh, not uh, homogeneous okay initialize the file menu so file menu equals to gtk menu new then initialize the menu bar gtk menu bar new okay and then make the label uh, yep so actually we need another one so menu item okay so initialize this menu item menu item equals the gtk menu item new with label file okay simple enough all right and we uh, don't write uh, manually all of the uh, possibilities we write a uh, array of character literals uh, in a moment uh, for now we just set a sub menu for that so gtk menu item set sub menu okay if you remember this the first parameter is a menu item which will actually the menu item uh, for the file uh, so menu item and the second parameter is uh, what do we want to set a sub menu we want to set this file menu to a sub menu okay because we have only this one menu right now we don't have to worry about you know creating a new menu and set a sub menu for that okay uh, so here we will write this character literal array this will be a const char as your 
a C++ compiler will complain if it is uh, not a const uh, because if you change that obviously could result um, unexpected behavior okay and uh, file this will be an array of char pointers and uh, yeah we just set it to a few function like new this will do that uh, uh, set back everything to zero the next one is open this will open the file chooser dialog and we can choose a file uh, to open for example a sudoku file uh, we make uh, an exit function okay i've originally wanted to make a check function but maybe later we will if we have remaining time and i have remaining power <laughs> all right so we have three elements so we can make it easier by a for loop so for int i equals zero i less than less than three i plus plus so we just go through this uh, array and pass everything to to the menu okay so uh, the menu so make the menu item equal to gtk menu item new with label okay and uh, this will be the file i so we press the parameter file i so first we press the new and then pre uh, pre pass the open and then pass the exit all right the exit is exit the program obviously okay the next thing we want to do is to actually add this menu item to the file menu to do that we use the gtk menu shell append the first parameter is the menu shell and uh, the menu shell will be actually the menu bar oh what am i doing nope not the menu bar so the menu shell will be the menu file menu and the second parameter is this menu item we have just created okay that's it and actually we connect this to a callback function so g signal signal connect okay we connect the menu item we check the for the activate signal as I said earlier, the activate signal is emitted whenever the user click a menu. So, uh, yeah, it is obviously uh, obvious, I think. And we call a function which we have not created yet, but we will later call the, um, hmm, let me think, menu event. Okay, this will handle any, every menu event, and we pass the parameter mm, mm, i think we don't have to press any parameter but uh, later we will see that do we have or not okay then uh, we need to uh, put the file menu to the menu bar so gtk menu shall append and uh, the menu shell will be in the menu bar and what we want to put is the uh, oh bracket we don't have to we don't uh, we shouldn't put it here we have to put where, wherever we define that label okay that's i forget but don't worry about that i will make it good so right here we and we pass the menu item I hope this is clear why we do that because this menu item is just exist here and here in the for loop we override this menu item so we can't use that uh, yeah I hope this makes sense for you okay the next thing we want to do is to actually put it in the vertical box okay we define the vertical box here so the first thing we want to do is the vertical box is the menu bar so gtk box back start 